in this video of a mobile home makeover it's intermission but it's hard to stop so there's some more fixing of things and of course I'm taking stock some picking blackberries and uh, flying over a lot of smoke What am I supposed to do? Get a staple out here? <laughs> you grab it, you roll it. Oscillating multi tool. That's the very obvious smudge right there. Repeating that process, I see another smudge right here. Now it's closing pretty good. Locks on the first slam, which for Compared to not closing at all is a definite improvement. Now all I have to do is wipe this uh, line off. Works though. There are a lot of pretty flowers in the garden right now, but that's boy, that's something special. That's so nice. That's so lovely. That's All on their way out. These are apparently called bachelor buttons. It's my favorite local spot for grabbing blackberries and uh, looks like it's happening now and will be more so, but I'm going to pick some now. Pretty nice paint scheme. Just called about ordering the door, and the uh, guy said, uh, All right. Old school Taco Bell, first gen. Everywhere else, it's in the 90s. There's our dome of protection. I don't know, am I am I doing too many blackberry shots? I they so. came to us and said, you know, do you want to sell mobile homes? And we're like, well, you know, you have a really cool opportunity here to do something different. So we kind of had to sell them on the pitch a little bit, but we said, you know, let's try doing tiny homes and something that's architectural and offer a different product to our buyers that you can't normally find actually anywhere in California, but it's specifically Palm Springs. Here we are today. 
People think it's like 200 square feet, and our smallest one is 600 square feet. And you work with them because they're mass production. Like they have, we have this size window used. you could use, or you know, this size. Like we couldn't cuss the ceiling. We couldn't go higher because remember these have to go down a freeway and underneath overpasses. The same thing with the width. So in manufactured homes, you have a single wide and a double wide, which refers to how many trailers the home is on. So this is a single wide. So it's one trailer. Did on the double wide design because we knew it was going to take up more of a footprint on the lot and you wouldn't have as big of a side yard as we added a larger front porch outdoor, a covered outdoor living area. Pretty impressive. What a street, street presence. When you put two together, there's more of a cost to when they actually come, you have to rebound and moving the slider from that back wall over to the side. A little bit early for this spot, but oh my God, what a spot. Kind of cool, kind of this old image of downtown Chill Wellness back in the day. This stacked style of construction was apparently popular back then. There's a couple of buildings in town still still made that way. Looks like most of these are gone. Supposedly. Part of the nursery is one of the old original buildings. I need to check out whether it's maybe this one. Oops. That one down there. Yes. For a second, that this is how wide our boards are. And Martin, they're really yeah. not this wide. This is just for demonstration <clears throat> purposes. And if we start laying in the top left corner. So here's my layout. <clears throat> I think what I'm going to need to do this. All fine, all fine, 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 and right here, backwards. Or, I can do the opposite. Start up here. Do all that forward, 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 forward. Do all that forward. This kind of complicated stuff. Backwards. Oh, plus this bathroom backwards. And since I'm doing this bathroom first and that bathroom later, thinking this is the way to go. So we'd start up here in the primary. We also oh, shit. <laughs> There's the dirt. I've watched so many of these guys' videos. So that's how you do that. Hey, Joel Attender here, and in this video, I'm going to share with you how to install vinyl plank and laminate up against angled walls. One's not far from our house. Gray. Yellow fully around the door and the door. Black. Dark, dark gray. That's 900, and that one's a thousand. Here we are looking at peeling sick tiles. Or a backsplash. Yeah. Is this one called? It's peel stick skyline linear. Mm. Like I actually just want you to take last day in the city before heading north. A little nervous. You know, last time I was let's see what happens. This time it's okay, gotta finish this, gotta make it right. to say goodbye to the garden for a couple weeks. I made Deb this potting bench a couple of years ago for her birthday. Oh, 
not gonna have any dogs with me, so I'm thinking I'm gonna be making some art. Check me over at BW Paints on Instagram. So, what am I gonna do about the backsplash? Although the second one down is close. Yeah, but light. But, yeah. Oh. Almost. Solitary state? But it's also not. No. Between these two, solitary state and whirlwind, I guess we're not going get, to get the paint right now. No. Well, especially Dev has. Someday I'm going to do an analysis of just how much global warming I've done by driving back and forth and flying back and forth this summer. It's a little sobering to watch those fires and fly over them and know that you're part of the issue. In the next episode, things are going to go sideways with a guest host and some parallel narratives. We're going to do a flashback and go back in time.